Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you. Hope you had yourself a good weekend. And man, Friday night, it was a light show from Mother Nature. That was something I haven't seen in a long time. Some great northern lights. And we'll end the show with that and give you a little bit of taste if you can get a chance to see them. Our photograph for tonight, a beautiful shot of the Alaska Range flying out over the Alaska Range. This one uh, sent in by Ian Upton. As you can see, uh, beautiful mountain tops there and uh, beautiful colors too. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. And once again, a reminder that the photo calendar is still out right now, free in many locations across the interior. And be sure and check it out on the website. You'll find out exactly where those are located. <clears throat> Our almanac looks like this. The high today, 20 degrees after a low last night of 9. Right now it's 10. The record high, 41, 19, 16, 41 below in 2011. Sunrise and sunset, not quite six hours of daylight, a loss of six minutes from yesterday. And real quickly, Aurora Watch, once again, moderate levels, so a pretty good chance of seeing more auroras tonight if the clouds clear out. And we do have another, once again, air quality alert to pass along, effective till 5 p.m. tomorrow. Unhealthy for North Pole, unhealthy for sensitive groups in Fairbanks. Our satellite and radar picture for the state looks like this. As you can see, we're looking at more flow coming out of the south, working its way toward the Alaska Range, but not quite making it past. It isn't really organized, so it's not really expecting a whole lot with it. Elsewhere across the state looks like this. As you can see, we're looking at across the state over southeast Alaska. Skies have cleared once again. Very nice weather, lots of sunshine, some showers around Kodiak Island. Also up and down the uh, west coast looking at clear to partly cloudy skies and cloudy skies on the north slope. Lower 48 weather. Oh, in the satellite picture, you can see a lot of energy moving across the Pacific Northwest, and that's coming in on the uh, heels of a pretty good area of low pressure. Elsewhere, cold temperatures continue across much of the country, and as far as uh, an odd thing going on, it's snowing and cold across the, most of the, much of the country, but around Southern California, very warm temperatures and elevated wildfire danger is possible once again. And on the... Uh, Long range outlook for the jet stream way up to the north means the cold air will be once again moving back up to the north, a warming trend over much of the country later on this week. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Here's what it looks like. In the northern sections, freezing drizzle and flurries for Barrow, mixed showers for Nome, and partly cloudy skies for Fort Yukon. In the interior, looking at uh, partly cloudy skies for Fairbanks, more clouds for Healy and Delta Junction, while over the southeastern sections, nice weather can to continue. Well, there may be some mixed showers in the Juneau area and a chance of rain developing by afternoon in Ketchikan. Over to the southwest, it looks like for the most part, rain likely at Cold Bay, rain and snow at Bethel, and heavy rain at Kodiak Island. And down around the Anchorage area, cloudy skies at Anchorage, rain showers in Homer, and rain developing for Valdez. Okay, and it's a new week. Once again, time for our kids' weather. Up. We're going to tell you right now, we will tell you that we're going to go to uh, Joy Elementary School at night for our kids' weather. And here's a young man to, uh, once again, give us a story. So my mom, so my dad um, was driving his truck to pick me up from my friend's house. And uh, he was driving kind of fast. And then he, uh, he slipped on some, he slipped on some ice and then he turned around he spun around twice and then he fell in the ditch. So we had to go call a, um, a tow to go come get him. Once again, thanks to Mother, thanks to Mother Ditch. Thanks to Mount McKinley for sponsoring our kids' weather. And tomorrow night, another young man will be here once again. Here's your forecast. Seven degrees overnight low, partly cloudy skies, warmer in the hills. Maybe some auroras once again. Tomorrow's forecast, 20 degrees, partly cloudy, continue warmer in the hills. And the extended forecast you see here, maybe some rain and snow shower activity Wednesday. Then once again, partly cloudy skies for the most part, all the way through the five-day period. Cooling off toward the last part. Uh, temperatures only rising to 15 degrees for the daytime highs. Overnight lows dropping down below zero, so a little bit of a change going on there, but again, no real big organized weather systems to talk about.